Hey, thanks for visiting us this morning at ArcletexHomepage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses with your Wednesday morning forecast update. And we do have a stalled frontal boundary just south of the region. That is what is producing quite a few showers and storms across the Arcletex this morning. And this will continue uh, through much of the day today. It looks like our primary severe weather threat will be during the morning hours here. We've already seen one severe thunderstorm warning uh, for a cell that made its way up across Webster, Claiborne Parish. That has now moved east to the Arcletex. But we're not done. We still have this upper level low over in West Texas. And until that makes its way across the region, we will continue to see the rain and thunderstorm threat, uh, especially with the thunderstorms this morning. So here's a look at what's ongoing right now. We do have a few thunderstorms out there, nothing severe in the Arcletex, but you can see uh, some pretty big storms over there by Monroe and also a few big storms just to the south of the Lufkin area. So we're kind of watching that area, Lufkin up to Tyler, where we may see some additional development in the upcoming hours. And if that were to happen potentially uh, that is where we could see some strong to severe storms develop so it looks like wind and hail will be the primary severe weather threats for us there's a tornado threat a little bit further to the south of the Arcletex, but uh, for us, it looks like hail initially and maybe a few wind gusts will be possible with those storms. We'd have that marginal risk across much of East Texas and Louisiana. If you're I-30 corridor, Northeast Texas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas, it does not look like you'll see anything as far as severe storms today. So there's a look at your Robin's Thread at Futurecast. It does show that spot that we were talking about, Tyler down to Lufkin, kind of filling in with some of the storms here in the upcoming hours. So uh, those are the ones we'll be watching closely for that severe weather threat. Once we get later, into the morning, again, we kind of lose some of the warmer air that we have in place south of I-20. will be a pretty cool day. Temperatures will be in the upper 50s or low 60s for much of the day, so that may help to limit our severe weather potential somewhat, especially as we go through the afternoon. You can see uh, there will still be a few pop-up showers and storms, but it looks like the biggest burst of rain or the heaviest burst of rain for us uh, likely playing out during the morning, but there will be some showers as we head into your Wednesday night, Thursday morning. No severe weather threat during that time frame, and here comes the dry air tomorrow. We'll likely see some lingering clouds and rain early in the morning, but we should see plenty of sun make its way back out for the afternoon. This is a different model. This is the HRRR, and it kind of lines up with what we were telling you with the uh, rain and storms kind of picking up south of I-20 this morning. This one's showing a little more rain across the northern Arcletex, so that's why I wanted to show both of them to you. It is showing some heavy rain through at least the noon hour today, and it also shows the tapering of the rain once we hit the afternoon and evening as well. So uh, again, most of the forecast models showing that initial burst of rain through the morning and tapering off through the afternoon. As far as your rainfall totals, looks like we could still see some one to two inch amounts along and south of Interstate 20. So uh, again, there could be some roadway issues just as far as ponding of water in some of those poor drainage areas, especially as we go through the morning. Here's a look at your temperatures. Uh, we have cooled off behind this front. Most areas are in in the 50s, but we do have a little bit of warm air available for those storms south of I-20 at the moment, 66 in Manny, and uh, again, northeast breeze kicking in about 10 to 15 miles per hour. It will be a breezy day and uh, a little bit cooler, so make sure you have a jacket. In addition to that umbrella, your afternoon temperatures there in the upper 50s and low 60s for all areas, and we'll start a bit of a warming trend tomorrow. Seven-day forecast, some sunshine back for our Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We'll run in the mid to upper 60s, push 70 degrees by Sunday. Should be a pleasant weekend for us. We do have rain and storms on the increase once again early next week.